Uh, this is question number 9, 2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2. Uh, number 9, the population growth of a uh, colony of bacteria was recorded at intervals of 5 seconds, as shown in the table below. So we have T seconds, uh, we have uh, 0, 5, 10 seconds, 15, 20, 25 seconds. Number of bacteria from 5 to 7, 11, 16. 24, 36. Uh, so on the grid provided, draw a graph of the population of the bacteria against this time. Uh, our grid is already labeled, so we have the y-axis representing the population, the x-axis representing the time in seconds. Uh, so from the table, we just read the values from the table. Uh, when t is 0, uh, number of bacteria are 5. Uh, when uh, five seconds later, the number was seven. If you look at the number of squares, we have one, two, three, four, five. So one square represents one. So if seven, it will be there. Uh, when it is ten, it is eleven. Uh, so eleven is there. Uh, Fifteen, we have sixteen. Uh, we have there sixteen. Uh, then we have uh, when 20, 24, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 24, uh, 25, we have 36, uh, 30, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, that is uh, 36, 35, this is 36, uh, so our table is up to 25. Uh, so with the points, what we need now to do is to use your free hand. It, it is a curve kind of. Uh, use your free hand to join the points and come up with a graph. So this is a graph that uh, you come up with. Try to make it as smooth as possible. Uh, so by doing that, plotting that graph, then you get yourself two marks. Then we have B. Use the graph to determine correct to two decimal places the average rate of change of the population of the bacteria between t is equal to 5 and t is equal to 20. So this is where we have t is equal to 5 and this is where we have t is equal to 20. Now t is equal to 20, we have uh, 24. Uh, t is equal to 24 is there. Uh, so what we do is we join a straight line uh, from t is equal to 5 to t is equal to 20 to get the average rate of change we get the gradient uh, of course here we have uh, this is uh, uh, 20 and 24 that's are the coordinates and here we have 5 and 7 so average rate of change is equals to we get the gradient so this will be 24 minus 17 minus uh, not 17 but 7 you divide by uh, 20 minus 5 so this will give you 17 divide by 15 using your calculator you get 1.13 uh, that is the average that is to two decimal places as we have been told uh, so you write this, uh, the, you divide 17 by 15 and you write it into two decimal places, you get 1.13. So by doing that, then you get yourself two marks. So that's how you do that question.